that direction. That's the uh, that's the cape itself. I'll go ahead and link it on a map for you in the bottom. You can make out some of the buildings, I guess. Let's see if I can zoom in. Right down there, it's the jetty. But when I was living on the beach, I used to go for walks down here. I live about 15 miles away from the beach now. But just looking at this, you can see that there's a whole hell of a lot science wants you to believe that all this water came from comets. I highly doubt that. Look how big it is. Look how much water there is. It appears to me that some other process formed all this water. And in the theory I'm developing, all that water is a byproduct of just the hydrogen combining with the oxygen in later stages of evolution of a star. We're essentially standing on the remains of a star older than the sun. As well, some of the material is silicon dioxide. It's the main component of the crust. And you can hold a piece of this star in your hands. Literally, this is star dust, <laughs> if you will. But there it is in all of its glory. Sometimes you can find some shells and things. But to truly know how incredible this is, you have to have a theory that can explain it. And just stating this giant six sextillion ton object just formed from gravity alone clumping rocks together, that, that, that's a very poor explanation. But anyways, we're literally living on a black dwarf star. Alright, later you guys.